In this short system movie, we will compose a multi-item or a mixed handling unit and move it as a whole from one warehouse to another. We will start in this warehouse, containing inventory for three different items, 40 pieces of the LC item, 30 pieces of the O item and 20 pieces of the O2 item. If we take a look at the handling unit base view for the inventory, we see that the 40 pieces of the LC item is a top handling unit containing children and the same applies to the 30 pieces of the O item and the 20 pieces of the O2 item. All these are top handling units containing children, sub handling units. I now activate the Compose Handling Unit session and implement the required filter which is the warehouse the location I want to work in, the status of the handling units I want to modify and in this case I also want to indicate that I only want to modify handling units based on this packaging structure. If I apply the filter again the three handling units, the three top handling units appear. All three are pallet based handling units, 40 pieces, 30 pieces and 20 pieces. I move to the handling unit tree to get a better view, a better insight in the structure of the handling units that I have in stock in this location. And I see that in principle I only need a single pallet because all these boxes could be placed on the same pallet. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag these boxes and drop them to the first pallet. And the same goes for the four boxes on the other pallet and I compose a mixed handling unit with nine boxes on it on a single pallet and a cover. The other two pallets have been set to inactive because they are empty now. If I refresh the compose handling unit screen you see that there's only a single handling unit left. And the same goes for the handling unit base view of the warehouse inventory. And you see there's a single handling unit left containing all these boxes with different items. And you see it has become a multi-item handling unit. The next step is to move this handling unit, which I can do straight from the Compose session, to move this handling unit to another warehouse. And for this I will execute the transfer handling unit action. This action triggers a transfer manual order from my warehouse LC and here I need to enter a destination warehouse which in this case will be the LL warehouse. When I store this warehouse transfer order you see that automatically the transfer order lines are filled with the different items that are on this mixed pallet. You also see, that's quite important of course, that when I create or when the system generates this warehouse transfer order, the mixed handling unit from where I triggered this process, where I triggered the move process, is automatically filled in in the header. And like I said, when I store the entire order, the warehouse transfer lines are automatically generated based on the different items and quantities, of course, and handling units that this mixed handling unit contains. And as you see here, for every item handling unit combination, I get a separate warehouse transfer order line. 
For this warehouse transfer order I created a fully automatic procedure, so the only thing I need to do in this case for this warehouse transfer order is to release the outbound advice. This will automatically execute the shipment to the other warehouse, the destination warehouse, and the receipt in this destination warehouse as well. So in the end I only need to check whether the mix handling unit safely arrived in the destination double L warehouse. There's some label printing taking place in between. So when I now look at my warehouse item inventory and I move to my double L warehouse I can now see that the items that I moved did arrive in the destination warehouse and if I take a look at the handling unit based view I can see that the handling unit, the mixed handling unit that I created and moved indeed arrived in the double L warehouse.